everyone welcome back to my channel this is Priya and today I have a very special project to share with you all um, it's a it's it's done for a lady Emma and she's a lovely lady and she wanted me to make a, a forest themed journal so I I made something for her and this is called a walk into the forest so let me show you how it looks okay so this journal that's the journal and it comes with this extra uh, folio and I'm going to talk about this in a while this folio contains all the ephemera for this journal but I will talk to you about this in a while first let me speak about the journal and I <laughs> I am <laughs> quite pleased with myself the way this journal has turned out so she wanted a journal with forest theme and a bit rusty kind of uh, feel so I I made this journal and I feel like this has ended up being very like a like deep dark forest very musty and I didn't make it very freely and shabby shiki it's very rustic so uh, that's how this journal looks it's quite big <laughs> it is quite big and it's covered with a uh, it's hardbound journal it's covered with a uh, linen hand dyed linen fabric in green and then on the top i painted it with a uh, metallic gold just to give this a uh, this an antique look and that's how it looks and then then in the middle there is a window and inside this window this is an Edith Holden image and for the first time I did um, uh, hollow binding so that's how this looks and so let me let me start the journal so when we open it that's how it looks like <clears throat> it's a pretty paper here that's the journal that these are all the signatures bound to a a fabric and then fabric I stuck the fabric on the cover so you can see here they are total six signatures and in around 180 pages and there's no ephemera inside because I put all the ephemera in the folio which I'm going to show you in a while so let me just speak about the journal first so that's the first page there is this pocket there is this pocket and here also there is the pocket that's that's another pocket here in fact there are two pockets there is one pocket here and then one pocket at the back now this is uh, eco printing i eco dyed the pages and i'm happy with how these pages have turned out <coughs> excuse me uh, these are a few images from edith holden there is a little window here and this page is tea dyed Again, some Edith Holden quotes. There's a pocket here. <coughs> Again, a beautiful poem by uh, from Edith Holden. And I really feel that it goes very well here because it goes kind of with the theme of the journal. That's vellum and it has been dyed as well. Some eco dyeing. And you can see the imprints of leaves and there was a orange colored flower i don't know the name of the flower but it really gave a very beautiful color <coughs> some leaves here you just hold an image these are some pockets there are two pockets here and that page is very good it it gives a feel of a deep dark forest and in the middle i put a edith holden image and here is a here's a pocket there's a leaf here from eco printing eco dyeing more eco dyeing this vellum again some paper collaging some fabric as well <coughs> a pocket here so there are a lot of pockets there's some writing space some leaf uh, paper leaf here and then uh, this thing it opens up there's some image bird image here and then it opens up into this very beautiful vintage image of birds 
so this whole page it turns out there is this some writing space again some eco dyeing and it's you can always write on top of it so look at this how beautifully this eco dyeing has turned out again some pocket here <coughs> It is holding some uh, so I um, these pages are I, I tore them up from my eco dyed pages and I just collaged them here and there this is a handmade paper again some writing space so I try to keep this journal very grungy looking <laughs> a beautiful image this is tea dyeing some Edith Holden and here is a is a nice pocket dying this is a beautiful large impression of a leaf can eat a holden page and this one i think this is my one of my favorite pages here so i uh, kind of wanted to create an impression that this bird is taking off so this page is uh, this background paper is blue this is a handmade paper with beautiful texture which i think it, it it gives an impression that that sky and on the bottom there is this green paper which means that that's the ground and i also did uh, so i have sewn this green fabric here just to give it a three-dimensional look <coughs> In Edith Holden, some eco printed papers, eco dyed papers, beautiful impressions here. Again, a pocket here. That's some tea dyeing. This also is. Um, I collaged uh, an eco dyed paper and on top I collaged these paper leaves which I fussy cut from Edith Holton. That's handmade paper. So this paper kind of gives a look of very like earthy foresty look. So I thought it's going well with the green theme. That's also some paper collaging, some writing space. So there is plenty of writing space, some more writing space, a bit of collaging. And this page then opens up into this pretty image of a bird. That's a pocket here. Again some collaging. There is a whole lot of collaging here. Again handmade paper. <coughs> Eco dyeing. Beautiful eco dyeing. I'm very happy with how these um, eco dyed papers have turned out. There's a pocket here, and now this page is it, it kind of gives a beautiful view of a forest. In some collaging here, uh, eco dyeing. Some handmade paper, so I have used a variety of different kinds of paper. Beautiful image of butterflies, some um, mushrooms here, wild mushrooms, and some paper collaging, which includes tea dyed paper as well as eco dyed paper. Some fabric here, that's the pocket here, another pocket here, and then this opens up into. Uh, So this is a pocket that's a pocket and it can uh, it can fold back and like this and here it's a writing space some uh, beautiful coats again some uh, Edith Holden I use a lot of Edith Holden pages that's a pocket beautiful paper collage and you can also use it for writing here also some paper collaging some more eco dyeing that's a beautiful image of uh, mushrooms and that's a pocket here and this also is a beautiful quote adopt the pace of nature her secret is patience it's 
a pocket here. Can you hear my daughters talking so loudly in the background? <laughs> that's uh, that's equidying. That's a handmade paper. I did a bit of tea dyeing on this handmade paper as well. That's just a little flip out with some writing space and a coat here. And it's a, there's a pocket behind it. Some vellum. Some collaging here. That's a pocket here and some writing space. Beautiful images from Edith Holden, some more writing space. <clears throat> There's a pocket here. There's a ledger paper. It's a cardstock ledger paper. Tea dyeing. I I'm quite pleased with how this tea dyeing has turned out. Because this tea dyeing, even though these papers are old, but this tea dyeing, it really makes them look like super grungy. More eco dyeing. I'm very happy with this. How how beautifully the uh, this these papers take up the impression of leaves. And look at this. This is lavender, and I was not quite sure if lavenders will um, dye this paper beautifully, but it has. You can see these. <laughs> so this is some collaging here. That's a beautiful middle paper. So. Some collaging here, eco dyeing again. These lavenders, some more Edith Holden pages, vellum, and this is other side of that uh, <clears throat> ledger paper. Some more writing space here. There's a pocket here. And on this side, this there's a pocket here, and it flips open. There's a lot of writing space here, and this is very flexible. So it's 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 I I, I have attached it using a fabric, and some writing space. Some more eco dyeing. <coughs> This is a big leaf and I'm happy with how this whole thing has turned out. It's giving a very good impression. Some collaging here. And now this is center of the, the signature and this opens up and it's a beautiful image of a, of a deep dark forest. <laughs> More eco dyed pages. There are a lot of eco dyed pages. Again, an Edith Holden page, tea dyed vellum, Edith Holden page, and some writing space here, a beautiful pattern paper, some tea dyeing. That's my signature, <laughs> and that's the that's the last page, and so this is how this journal looks but this journal also comes with this uh, beautiful beautiful folio so this folio initially i was not planning to make this but then i thought that this journal is becoming too heavy and also emma can decide uh, by herself that way she wants to have her ephemera inside the journal so instead of putting ephemera in the journal I decided to have it separately in a folio and she can use it as she wants so let me let me show you the folio now so that was a journal let's go to the folio so it encloses with a beautiful linen fabric in fact this is the same fabric that was on the cover but because I painted the cover with another layer of gold paint, so this they are looking different, but it's the same fabric. Right. So this folio, it's a, so that's how it looks from the front. So it opens up like this. Inside there is a pocket. In this pocket, there are these two tags. 
and then there is this little uh, like a, she can use it for writing it's back with a journal uh, with the eco dyed paper and there's a little pocket inside and on this side there's another pocket and in this pocket there is this journaling card which is packed with tea dyeing paper and some sewing and there is this uh, tag which opens up and inside this there is a uh, it's it's bagged with uh, eco dyed paper then this folio opens up back again like this and inside this I added um, so there is this little little booklet with a few pages and she can write a few things here it's and then there is another little kind of space for writing she can write something here it's a beautiful uh, vintage paper then there is some collaging on this side and it opens up so there is collaging here there is collaging here all over there is collaging and then in the middle there is this uh, this pocket that is made from um, uh, what is it called <laughs> like vellum vellum yes and then there is this beautiful uh, leaf charm attached to a paper clip clip and this this cute teeny tiny envelope and then inside these pockets I have put these uh, journaling cards each one is packed with uh, hand dyed paper this is a tag so they they all are backed with tea dyed papers and on the next side also I have a few little journaling cards each one is bagged again with tea dyed paper this is a bigger one so all of them they go here and both of them have I just use this envelope as a <laughs> as a closure right so this thing closes now like this and inside this there is a pocket here and there are two journaling cards and each one backed with tea dyed paper and some sewing and on the back I added this uh, beautiful it's kind of a card it opens up and inside there is some writing space it is backed with uh, eco dyed pay paper and here also at the back there is some writing space this also is eco dyed paper and it's quite <laughs> quite yellow so let me let me put it back and and uh, I forgot to show you about so in this folio in this front folio there is a pocket here and inside this pocket I added this little it's kind of a journaling card it opens up and it opens up and there is some writing space inside and look how beautiful this lavender has turned out I'm really pleased with with, with eco dyeing lavenders and then there is this this is an authentic ephemera it's vintage and i did not do anything to make it look old this it, it was like this and this is a this is a, a a card a greeting card a very old greeting card and i thought it is going well with the theme because it is it is quite nature themed here so she can use it for something So guys, this is how this journal, A Walk Into The Forest, looks like. I hope Emma likes it. <laughs> so, this was it guys. Thank you so much for watching this 
flip through and video and i hope to see you very soon again on my channel bye